Hey there, and welcome back to Sailor Moon Another Story. So, last time, we were rudely awakened by Luna to tell us that enemies that we've defeated before are, for some reason, reappearing again. So, in the process of trying to get down to that mystery, we had to save Naru, yet again, from Senecienta, who is an enemy from Season S, and her name, actually, fun fact, is the Spanish name for Cinderella, which I forgot to mention last time. But considering she comes out of a crystal, or like a glass shoe, I thought that was an interesting tidbit of information. So, this episode, we're going to continue investigating what's going on, and hopefully start being able to put some information together, and get the Senshi together, if we're smart, get them involved, get their opinion. So we're still in Osapi, we're upstairs, so we are going to go ahead and leave. We've done everything that we can do here. Time to go back to bed. She just got up. <laughs> Where am I? Master. That voice. Kunzai. Master, destiny draws near. A dark comet is approaching from an evil star to return destiny to its origins. It's a terrifying presence that holds the power to revert everything. In the present, in the future, and in the past. It is creating an existence in which all will be returned to what has been. What? Reverting destiny? When will this happen? It comes from the distant future. What can we do about it now? You will decide the future. W wait Kunzai. Well, that was weird. Was that a dream? But the future rests on me. The Four Kings case is glimmering. Hey everyone, listen up! We've got a serious problem. Something crazy's going on. I just fought a daimon. What? Were the Deathbusters brought back somehow? Usagi, are you sure you're not still half asleep? <laughs> That's a valid question. Ooh, Ray, you're picking on me again. Ami believes me, right? Huh? Where is Ami? Sorry I came as fast as I could. I just got off the phone with Ryo. Let's talk about it inside. Hmm. It's been a long time since you last saw Ryo, huh? Yes, he's here in Tokyo for the holidays. So where have you decided to go with him? Um, well... There are some national exams coming up. So you see... See what? I thought we'd go to the library. <laughs> oh, Ami. That is not... Well... I guess for some people that could be considered a good date. <laughs> huh? You want to go to the library with him? Oh, really? Ami, you could whisper it to me if you want. Ah, sneaky sneaky, Mako. So what are the date plans for afterward? Huh? It, it's not like that. We can't date. We're all still in middle school. <laughs> but I haven't seen him in a while. So, um... I knew it! Tell us more, come on! Hi! Looks like I'm straggling again. What's wrong, Ami? Your face is all red. Heh, <laughs> Ami's got a boyfriend. And he's coming here soon. P please don't, Mako. It isn't like that with Ryo. Ah, oh, hello, ladies. How are you? You know, Rei, you look better than ever today. P thank you, Yuichiro. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs> the most random interruption ever. So, Ray, w What, Usagi? Why are you taking that tone? Because of Yuichiro's little compliment. 
You two are super close, right? I it's nothing. Really? 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 Really, it's nothing. W well, Usagi, how's your love life? Huh? Mine? You know Mamo and I are the perfect couple. It's a miracle romance. We've even kissed already. Ah, I can't believe I blurted it out. Yeah, me neither. Ah, even so, I'm still jealous. True. Usagi's with Mamoru. Ami and Ryo might be long distance, but they're together. And it doesn't matter what Rei says, she's got Yuichiro. Ah, I want a boyfriend too. Me too. Oh, <laughs> these, these girls. Sometimes it's hard to believe that amidst all of the boy drama, they're still able to save the world. Hey, Ami, when does Ryo's train come in? Oh, that's right. I have to head out now, everyone. Goodbye. Hey, do you want a follower? Huh? That's kind of shifty. But I really want to go see. But wait a sec, everyone. Okay, let's go. Yay! Huh? Mako, aren't you coming? Hmm. Standing firm, Makoto. Stand firm. You're actually curious, aren't you? Mako trying to do the right thing. Succumbing to peer pressure. Okay, yeah, but just this once. It's been so long since I saw Ryo. Ami got on that bus, right? Yep, off and away to Tokyo Station. Let's catch the next one. This is so exciting! Alright, this is all automated. It automatically puts you on the bus. Alright, so, if you were to head to the right, you could go straight to the station, which is where you're supposed to go, and follow Ami. I like to take this moment, since we don't have random enemy encounters, I like to take a little bit of a detour and go pick up some items that we normally wouldn't be getting this early in the game. So, if you take the bus back to the shrine, it does cost 180 yen every time you take the bus, so just keep that in mind. I'm actually gonna head back to town. Which, if you go all the way to the left, you'll end up back in Juban. And I'm actually gonna go down to the exit, the southern exit down here. And I'm gonna take this bus instead. So this actually, this is the Maison Apartments. This is actually where Mamoru lives. There's literally nothing here of interest. Um, you visit here later when you have to come see Mamoru, but there's nothing to get there. So if you take this bus, we're gonna first take it to Mugen Academy. And there's a couple of chests here that we can take advantage of without having to run into enemy encounters every two seconds. There's also... Let me see if I can remember where he is. Uh, yes, up here. So up here... There's this guy. And so at first glance, he kind of looks like a normal item shop, but if you talk to him, he is a collector's pawn shop. So, upstairs in OSAP, we got an ancient doll which I said was a collector's item. This is where you take those. So we don't sell anything, but you can exchange collector's items here. What? Whoa, you've got an antique doll. Will you sell it for 12,800 yen? Yes, please. That is literally all you can do with collector's items. So you might as well. And then obviously he will do that over and over until you, you don't have any more collector's items. Um, and then he won't talk to you anymore. So we sold that. So now we have a ton of yen. We don't have to worry about yen for quite a while now. Um, so as you get collector's items, you can bring them back here. We're gonna get a couple of more of those um, in the coming chests once I 
remember where those chests are. They're around, I think they're down here. Yes. So if we come in here, and I'm holding down B to run so that I can move quicker. Uh, you found a rice ball pack. That is a, oh, that's the wrong one. I need the menu. So the rice ball heals 30 HP. Um, just your typical HP heal. Those will be useful for a little while, uh, but eventually we're obviously going to be wanting some stronger healing items. And then we have some cologne, which is a nice little... Uh, heals all your EP. So once we start getting into some harder battles, you are going to want to have those types of items because I know in the first couple of fights that we have, it's really not worth healing EP to use special skills because the, uh, the bosses and the enemies are gonna be so easy, but eventually you're gonna want these types of items because your skills are going to be extremely useful and they're gonna do way more damage than anything else. So now if we get on the bus again, It'll ask us if we want to go to Harumi. So we're going to say yes. And there's a whole bunch of items over there. So if we go up... There are... I forget how many chests. All these boxes, they're gonna have different different letter number combos on them. Find the one that says H-20. There's a hidden chest back here. And that gives you a studio coat, which is another collector's item. Where are all the chests? Ah, there's one. So we got Nakayoshi Manga Magazine. Studio cap, another another collector's item. A life crepe. And another rice ball pack. So that is our little detour. You could save. There's Lunapies like everywhere. Uh, but now we're actually gonna go to where we're supposed to go, which is stalking Ami on her date, which is probably not the best thing that we could be doing, but, <laughs> you know. There's enemies that we could be fighting, there's a mystery to solve, but instead we're stalking Ami on a date. Priorities. All right, so back up here to the shrine. And we will take the bus yet again. And at least now we don't have any, any worry about yen. We've got plenty of yen. Back to Tokyo Station. Ah! Ami's right there! Usagi, hide! Come on, Mako. How that how those hiding spots worked? They're whatever. <laughs> I wonder how far those two have gotten. Ami might deny it, but she and Rio are really close. I wonder how Rio is. You have to talk to all three of them in order to progress the story. It's been such a long time. I hope Rio's alright. Something tells me something bad's gonna happen. Looks like the train's arrived. Those two must be having a wonderful reunion. Yeah, hmm? Doesn't something seem a little strange? 
Oh, I love this music. Hold it, what's happened? There's a monster on the train! Get out of the way! Monster? The monster trapped a boy in there! Get the police! Let's check it out, girls! Alright, so we actually have a party now. But we'll wait till we get Ami. We're about to get Ami. Ami! Oh, you're all here! Huh? I can feel so many different auras. Everyone, transform! Alright, I'm not going to read all these. We all know their transformation phrases. Let's go in. So we finally have a party of five. We have all the inner senshi now. So we are actually going to go ahead and do link techniques. Whoop. That's the start button, not the select button. All right, so we have all the inner senshi. So we're going to go ahead and get link tinks for them. Moon can be paired with literally anyone. So we'll just go through, pair her with Mercury. If you press Y, we get healing spray. Uh, so this is this works the same way that the other texts do. It'll tell you how many targets it hits and then how many EP it requires. So go ahead and pair Moon up with all of the inner senshi. We have Spiral Fire. Moon and Jupiter gives healing pressure. Moon and Venus is healing shower. And then we can start doing some of the other senshi. So Mercury and Mars gives you Shine Soul. Mercury Jupiter gives you Bubble Thunder. <laughs> I just like the name of that one. Venus, Bubble Chain. Mars Jupiter, Fire Dragon. Mars Venus gives you Love Me Bird. Jupiter Venus is Crescent Thunder. And then you can actually do a grouping of three. So we'll do Moon, Mercury, and Mars. And that gives us Stardust Stream Hit. So now, the next time we load up a battle, we are going to have all of those showing up in our Link Tech options. And so we can show those off. They're pretty neat. They usually, they tend to do more damage than a normal attack is gonna do. Oop, wrong way. All right, so now we wanna get onto the train. Uh, you can also, I might as well go over formations here as well, since we actually have a party. So if you go to the formation option, there's four options. So right now we're in shoot, where the topmost position, so that would be Jupiter in this case, has the highest offense, but the lowest defense, and then the bottom, uh, which right now is Venus, would have the lowest offense and the highest defense, and then in the middle it's just varying varying uh, stats in between. The arrow looks like this. It's basically like geese flying in a V formation, uh, where the front has the highest attack and lowest defense, back to will have the lowest attack and the highest defense, and then the middle is obviously kind of in the middle. Victory is like the opposite of an arrow, the front two have the highest attack and lowest defense. Back has the lowest attack, highest defense. And then cluster. This is my favorite one. This is the one that I tend to use for most of the game. The front two have high attack, low defense. The center actually has the highest attack and the lowest defense. And then the back has obviously high defense, but low attack. So for now, I'm going to keep us in arrow with moon in the front. I don't believe we have any accessories to equip yet. I'm gonna save here. Just, you never know what's gonna happen. These, these upcoming fights are easy, but better safe than sorry. All right, we have a combatter, which is actually exclusive to this game. This this enemy didn't show up in, in the anime. 
And we have now all these link texts that we just paired up are now showing here. And it'll only show since Moon is selected, it'll only show the ones that she's a part of. So just keep that in mind. You're not obviously won't have all of them at your disposal, but the ones that that, that particular character is a part of can be used. So let's try one out. So Crescent Thunder will hit a single target, Lightning and Moon Link. Um, and then Mars, we can show off some of some of their individual abilities. So she does Fire Soul. Um, Moon, we've already seen Moon TR actions. So let's do a Link Tech with her. Let's do let's do Spiral Fire. Even though it hits multiple enemies, we can try it out. Mercury actually has Bubble Spray, or in the original, uh, it was just called Shabon Spray. It actually lowers the foe's attack, which is going to be extremely useful, especially for bosses later. So keep in mind, I don't think we need it here. Um, I'll actually just have her attack normally here. And then Crescent Beam with Venus. This should be a very, very quick battle. I love the attack animations. I think they were so well done. Need more EP. Well, that's useful. Uh, Supreme Thunder. Let's see. She's out of EP. We'll attack normally. Yeah, in the beginning, you really don't have much EP to spare. That will quickly... They'll, they'll quickly get more. You max out at 12, I believe. Now, you'll notice here, in the items we received from that fight, we got a puzzle piece. So those are those are important. You'll collect those throughout the game. And then everybody's leveling up. There are a few puzzle pieces that you can't just fight random battles for though. You have to know, you have to find them in the world in specific locations. So I'll point those out as we come across them. Then we have another combatter. Let's show off some more link text. Um, so here we have a couple, we've got an attack up, we've got restore HP. Moon tends to get a lot of uh, really nice healing attacks or healing uh, techniques. Let's try Bubble Thunder. I love Bubble Thunder. <laughs> Bubble Chain. Uh oh. That was a one hit kill. See, those link texts can be extremely useful. And they really, to be honest, don't cost that much EP. No more than just normal attacks do, so it's pretty nice. Rio! Are you alright, Rio? Uh, Ami. Rio! She's in her Sailor Mercury costume. He knows it's her. Interesting. Hang in there. It's okay, he's only unconscious. Only unconscious. Monsters. Could it be Queen Beryl? We can worry about it later. Let's get back to the Hika Hikawa Shrine. How are you doing, Ryo? I'm alright now. Uh, Ami? I had a vision in my dream. The past and the future changed. What? I don't understand it very well, but history. No, destiny is going to be altered. Destiny. Then does that mean we'll have a different future? Not just that, even the past will be affected. The past? Ha. Yeah. That's who is it? An enemy? My name is Sin. Consider this my introduction. Well, that was an introduction. Let's just explode in the middle of the shrine. <coughs> oh great, now I'm covered in soot. What was that? I don't know. <coughs> <laughs> Your face is pitch black. Oh, shut up. <coughs> Ray, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But my robes are filthy. I'm gonna go take a bath. 
<laughs> Sin. Hmm. Is that what she called herself? Who is she? A new enemy? Hey, telephone! It's Haruka! I'll get it for her. Alright. Usagi, go answer the phone! Shouldn't you get the phone? Yeah, 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 I'm going. As with any RPG, I'd like to talk to people. A grandpa. Oh? So you're gonna take the call, Usagi? Well, it's all yours. Hello, Haruka? Ah, Bunhead. Bunhead. <laughs> I like Odango better, but okay, I know that's a translation of it. You've got a problem. Something's wrong with Hotaru. Huh? What happened? Is she sick? No, it's... We don't know what caused it, but... Listen, it'd be easier if you saw it for yourself. Come to Juban Hospital right away. What's wrong? Something happened to Hotaru. Huh? Hotaru? I have to get to Juban Hospital. Well, that is not good news. <laughs> if Destiny is being rewritten, I wonder if Hotaru's gonna revert to Mistress Nine. Ooh, I hope not. She was she was not fun to fight. <laughs> oh, Ami, Ami's here with Rio. Destiny changing. Wonder what in the world is happening. Ooh. Well, things things are things are escalating quite quickly. There have been too many nasty incidents lately. Usagi, I have to go check on a few things. Okay. If anything happens, contact me. All right, so Luna's off doing her own thing. We just saved Rio. And now something's going on with Hotaru. So I'm really hoping that she doesn't revert back to Mistress Nine, but we will find out in the next episode. So thank you all for joining me today. Um, I had a lot of fun. I will see you in the next episode.